Hello, so this is for Linda. Hi Linda, how are you? She wanted to know um, about what diamond painting is about. So I, I thought I'd show um, um, how you do it and what it looks like and and that's about it. So diamond paintings come in uh, two things, two ways. They come in um, full drill, which means every single letter symbol that's on here, you put a drill on. A drill is those little beads. And every one of those <coughs> symbols is a different color. This happens to be a sunflower. And this is a full drill. This is a partial drill. Partial means that some of it is colored and you don't do it here. You only do this part, which is the partial. And this happens to be angels. And I thought it was more of a Christmas one, but it's kind of just, I thought these were poinsettias when I ordered it, but I guess they're just flowers. Really pretty. But anyway, this is how you do it. So when you get your diamond painting, um, they come with uh, bags of these little tiny drills or diamonds or beads, whatever you want to call it is fine. What you do is you empty them out. They send you these little trays. And this one I'm working on. Oops, I'm making y'all sick going back and forth. I'm sorry. If you look right here, the code for that is I'm doing A. And the bag that it was originally in, but I took it out, is nine. So on all the A's, I need to put the drill nine on there. They send you one of these. And it has a little, oops, I don't want to spill those. Let me put that over there. It has a little, they call these pens, or I think they just call them drill pens or tools, whatever you want to call it. And on the end is a little metal thing, and it's hollow on the end. So what, they also send you this. Most of the time it's pink, but um, I've also seen it come in blue. I, I don't have any blue, but um, that's what that looks like. So what you do, sorry, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed, so forgive me. It's covered up in plastic on both sides, and I kind of warm it up in my hands to make it pliable. And you peel back a little bit of the plastic. I'm going to just take it off because I'm one-handed. Normally I just peel off. And you poke it. poke and you get some of that pink stuff in there and then you can kind of tamp it down and whatever move it around I'm gonna put that back on there and I keep my pink wax when I'm not using it these are from other drill paintings that diamond paintings that I've done I have this little empty candle jar I just keep with a lid on it to keep the wax so I can reuse it if I need it. Um, it has a cover on it. And what you do is you pull the cover back not too far because this is sticky. And if you think of like um, fly paper, like that sticky stuff that catches flies, um, that's what it's like. So, you don't want to um, have this uncovered if it doesn't have diamonds or, 
or beads or whatever drills you want to call it on it because you could get cat hair dust dirt and then they won't want to stick so what you do is you take your little tray and you give it a little shake you get them all right side up and I'm happening to be working on a round painting round just means that the little drills or diamonds or whatever you want to call them are round they also sell them in squares I have not bought a square painting I have only bought round paintings um, I've heard people say uh, that they've had a lot of problems with squares and I don't need that kind of agitation in my life mainly because they say that um, it's hard to get them lined up you could get really anal retentive with it you know trying to mess them around and make sure that they're not you know straight and stuff so anyway so this is what you do you take this this pen with a little bit of pink wax on the end of it and you dab it and see that one's upside down I don't want to use that one I want to use the one that's rounded sorry my autofocus is like going crazy I'm not let me see if I can't grab that one much it, this is really hard to do one-handed anyway so I picked it up so then I find an A did I pick it up yes I did I find an A and I put it right there and see to me it's a little cockeyed focus please so you can kind of push it like that and that's what I don't want to do I don't want to stick my hand on it obviously when I'm using both hands I'm much more agile at it than I am now but that's what that is um, that's how you diamond paint that's all of it in a nutshell um, if you have any more questions for me, um, I'd be happy to answer you. Um, but that's what diamond painting is. You just do it over and over and over. Um, if you're a cross stitcher, it makes sense to you because you're used to working in grids and pixelated pictures. So, um, oh look, I got one that's, oops, I need to get that out of there. I'll fix that out in a minute. But, um, it, I'm working on a sunflower picture right now and I hope that helps you Linda and I hope that answers questions if you have any other questions um, or want to know anything I'm no expert but I'll do my best to tell you what I think or point you in a good direction or whatever but 